Hi guys, I'm Ali from Body Love Pilates in Wallara and I'm excited to bring you our first Pilates class for the upside. It's one of our signature mat classes, it's called the Assets. I want you to think abs, arms, ass, but all our classes at Body Love start with a little bit of breath and that's what I want you to do with me now. You don't need anything for this workout, just your good energy and yourself and a mat. Bring your feet about sit bone distance apart and together we're going to start with that breath. I invite you to place one hand on your hand space, one hand on your belly, and together we begin. Cast the eyes down to the ground or close them down completely. And let's enjoy a deep inhale through your nose and just allow the belly to widen in the hand. And as you slowly release your breath, feel your belly pull away from the hand, your rib cage sink down, let it go. Again, deep inhale through your nose and just feel the body with air. And as you relax your jaw, slowly release the shoulders, let go of any tension you're holding on. Big inhale and widen, soften and expand. And that long full exhale out your mouth, letting everything sink down and back together. On your next inhale, can you try to make it just that little bit deeper? And on your exhale, can you make it just that little bit more full, getting each and every last little bit of air out? Let's bring some awareness to what's happening underneath those hands. Can you feel your heart rate start to slow down, your consciousness draw inward. We're going to leave the to-do list, the inbox behind for 30 minutes. Just move and connect. Let's share one more round of breath together. Big inhale. Long, loud. Out your mouth. Drop your hands down by your side. Let's add some movement as you open your eyes. Cross the hands and sweep the arms up. Shine the heart to the ceiling. And then on your exhale, draw those arms all the way back down. Again, deep inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. And then that long exhale as you draw your arms down by your side. One more time like that. Sweep it all the way up. As you turn your hands out to the side, not the chin to the chest, and just pause for a moment to feel your cervical spine stretch. And then allow your shoulders to start to roll forward as you begin a hollowing out of the front line of your body, as if you're going up and over an imaginary barrel. Soft bend your knees as you ripple down, the sitting bones will flare, and as your fingertips touch the mat, can you shift your weight to the front of the foot and allow the head to dangle off the top of the spine, nodding it and shaking it, releasing any tension that might remain from your morning, the rush of your day, just let it go. Nod and shake it out. Find stillness, take an inhale, soften the belly. And then on your exhale, shift your weight to your heels and start to slowly restack, placing your pelvis on your femurs, your rib cage on your pelvis. Sweep the arms up one more time. Let's do that again. Turn the palms out to the side, nod the chin to the chest and take that lovely slow roll down towards your toes. This time I want you to generously bend the knees and place both hands through the ground, shift your weight forward and then start to straighten through the left leg as you sweep the left arm up towards the ceiling and enjoy that juicy spinal twist reaching the ceiling, the heart follows the fingertips for three, for two, hang heavy on one, take an inhale, both hands down and then on your exhale sweep the right arm up as the right leg straightens, reaching for the ceiling, the heart follows the fingertips that juicy spinal twist for three, for two, hang heavy on one, take an inhale, shift forward. And on your exhale, lift the belly, shift to the heels and start to coordinate your hamstrings and your abdominals as you restack all the way back up. Relaxing the shoulders, opening the head, the heart, the gaze. Let's get moving, guys. I want you to stick your booty out and bring yourself down into a lovely deep squat. And then as you exhale, drill down through your heels and stand back up. Nice and easy, sit it down. And then exhale, zip and squeeze to stand up. As you sit down into that squat, I want you to find that gentle ski jump-like shape with your spine. So the booty sticks out, the belly stays in, the ribs are narrow at the front. Your heart is shining forward and your gaze is down and forward to keep the creases out of the back and the neck and that long line out the tail and the crown of the head reaching on that diagonal. Let's start to add three pulses at the bottom of this squat. So it takes one, two and three, grow tall. Little pulse, one, two, three, drill down through those heels. 
And imagine ripping the mat apart with your feet and feeling the outer glute muscles turn on as you come down into that squat. The knees are stacking over the ankles, the heart reaching forward. In four, we're gonna hold just taking those little pulses. In three, use your exhale, grow tall. Last two, and exhale, zip it up. And last one, take it down and just keep those pulses going down an inch and up an inch. That belly is pulling in, I'm gonna to turn to face you now, and we're just taking that nice slow pulse. Pushing the palms together, turning those chest muscles on. We're gonna slow down our pulse, and we're gonna take a little lateral step out to the side. In four, in three, last two, and one. Hold your deep squat, take your hands to your hips. Can you start to step the right foot back, at the right foot out and then tap it in. Step it out and tap it in. So we're staying nice and low in our squat and we're really taking our weight and the work into this left booty. The right foot is stepping out and in, challenging the stability of that leg. Step it out and step it in. Keep that left knee stacked over the left ankle. Keep the belly pulling in and the chest is nice and open. Step it out and step it in. In four, we're gonna to start to step it out and back. So we step it out and back in three. Last two and one. Start to step that foot back, forward, out, center. Back, forward, out, center. So really creating some good heat for that left glute. Keep the belly in. Stay nice and low, weight through your heel. In four, we keep that foot stepping back. In three, we're gonna add those slow athletic arms. In two, and last time, can you step your foot back and pause? Start to add that slow running man arms. Step it forward and back. Pull your belly in, keep your heart shining forward. The weight is in that left leg. Stick that booty out, pull your belly in. Nice and slow, step it forward and back. You should be getting a really good burn through that glute now. Just for eight, we're gonna take a knee drive. In seven, nice and light on those toes. Last six, belly in, five, last four. Get deeper, three, ready for your knee drive. Last two, and one, step it back. Sweep your arms up by your ears and start to draw that right knee in and in. Drive the knee to the heart. This is your chance to pick up the tempo. The weight is through the heel. Just for eight, seven. Get deep for six, belly in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step the foot to the side. Let's pulse out through the center. Getting that bilateral rinse out through your legs. Palms come together. We're gonna to start to include a little bit of an oblique work here in four. We're gonna hold it in our squat. Take some twists. In three, last two, and one. Hold it here. Take those little pulses just like we did on the other side, reaching those sitting bones down and back. Start to pulse your left knee, your left elbow to your right knee, then back through center and twist the other side. So we're rotating from the belly button up. So our pelvis stays nice and square in that squat. And then we're rotating through the rib cage, bringing our opposite rib over towards our hip. Twist, pulse through center. And you're following your back elbow with your gaze. So you're getting that nice full upper twist. Just for four, four, three, we take that pulse to the center in two. And one, pulse that center. We're gonna slow it down, transfer our weight to our right leg and start to step that right leg out, left leg out in four, three, two, and one pause for me here. Take your hands to your hips, but keep that booty sticking out. Transfer that weight, step the left foot out, and then bend it in. That belly is gathered in. You have that curve in the lumbar. The ribs are nice and narrow. Think weight through your right heel, that left leg working against it. Step it out and pull it in. Nice and light on that foot. Out and in. In four, we're gonna take that step out to the side, then the step out to the back. In three, last two, and one. Step that foot back, bring it forward, then out. Step it back, 
and out. We're staying low, creating lots of heat for that right glute. Those glute meads, they're isometrically working. Keep that belly pulling in and keep that chest nice and open. In four, we step that foot back and we're gonna turn this into that slow running man. In three, keep it low. Last two, embrace that burn. And next time you step that foot back, hold it for me and start that very slow running man. I have a broken toe on this left foot, so I'm working really hard to stay nice and light on that left foot. So it's burning through my right glute and I'm embracing it. In eight, we're gonna take that knee drive. Seven, last six, use your exhale, five. In four, we sweep our biceps up by our ears. Last two, and one, step it back, sweep your arms up by your ears and pull that knee in and in. This is your chance to speed it up. I'm gonna keep it nice and slow so I don't hurt my poor toe, but you can get into it. Pull those knees in for eight, seven, six, five, four, knee drive, three, two, and one, step it out to the side. Let's rinse it out with a few squats just for four. We're gonna take it to a little plie series. In three, last two, and one, stand tall, roll the shoulders. Take a nice, big, wide step out to the corners of your mat. The toes are turned out and you're growing nice and tall through your body. Take your arms out like you've got a pair of wings and inhale, drop down in between your thighs. And as you exhale, can you sway your spine, taking a nice spine stretch. And inhale, drop through center. And then exhale, sway your spine over to the other side. Inhale down and exhale, sway. Nice work, keep that work in the legs. We're trying to find nice space through the spine as well. Nothing then better than a few lateral stretches to open up through the body. For four, we're gonna hold it down nice and low. In three, start to engage through our obliques again. Last two, and one. Come all the way down and hold it out here. Weight through those heels, you're gonna pulse down an inch, and up an inch. Keep wide through the body, open through your chest. In four, you're gonna take your hands behind your head, stop that pulse in three, get a little lower. Wrap those knees out two, and one. Pause for me here, take your hands behind your head. Can you take a nice deep side stretch and then restack the spine over to the other side. Good, thinking about lifting up and over as you side stretch. Inhale, coming through center, up and over. Back through center. Get a little deeper for four. Last three, get a little deeper in that plie. Last two. And one, come back through center, taking those little pulses just for four. For three, we put it together. Two and one, go down. You open your arms up as you come up. Inhale, go down. Side stretch, center, side stretch, center. Lift it up. Go down, let's take it the other side, center, side stretch, center, and lift it up. Four more, over, and over, center, and lift. Last three, big side stretch, get those obliques working, and up, last two, over, and over, and last time, let's find that final side stretch, and over, find center and pause. Reach your arms out nice and wide, spread your fingers. In four, we wrap our knees out. In three, last two, and one, pause. Can you wrap those knees in and out? Tiny little pulses, turn on those side glutes. Just for eight, seven, six, get deeper. Five, four, three, two, and one, hold. Sink a little lower, take an inhale, and then exhale all the way up. Heel and toe those feet back together. Take those legs for a little trot. We're gonna come down onto the mat, guys. Find a four-point kneeling position for me. So knees are underneath your pelvis, and you're gonna bring your hands out in line with your shoulders. Knees stacked, pelvis as shoulders over ribs. And just take a few cat-cows to loosen up through the spine. So on the inhale, let the belly drop, the heart shine forward. And then on your exhale, draw the belly in, tuck the tail, close the ribs and push up between the shoulder blades. And then again, inhale, release the glutes, 
The belly, the heart shines forward and the shoulders slide down to opposite booty pockets. And then the tail tucks under, the gather the belly in. Close the ribs, lift up, make that mountain out of your spine. And then as you release, slowly drop into the valley. One more time, take an exhale, tilt the pelvis, push up between the shoulders and really find that deep mountain of the spine. But this time you need to rest it down into something more neutral. We're gonna take it to our crane, shuffle forward a little bit for you. I'm gonna send my right foot out long behind me, pull my belly in, push up and out of my hands, ripping them out apart. As I hinge at the elbow, bending forward into a tricep push-up, my leg reaches back behind me, and then exhale, push it up. So inhale, hinging and coming forward, and exhale, coming up. Squeezing the elbows into my side as I go down, and then exhale, lift it up. So lots of work for the triceps, and just starting to turn on that hamstring glute connection as you go down, and exhale, push up. Inhale, the body weight forward. Exhale, zip up your abs. In four, we're gonna come forward and we're just gonna take some little pulses in that tricep push up before we really work that glute. In three, last two. And next time you're forward, can you hold it? Start to take tiny little pulses and you're thinking about squeezing your elbows narrower than your shoulders. Your heart is reaching forward. I really want you to point out through your toe and pull your belly in nice and deep. Just for four, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Can you get a little deeper? For four, four, three, four, two, on one. Straighten through the arms. Coming down onto your forearms, keep that leg lengthened out behind you. Point through the toe. Start to bend at the knee and then extend. So you bend, and then exhale, reach out through the big toe. Inhale, bend. Zip up your abs as you reach it out. This is a full body exercise. I want you to think about ripping the mat apart with your forearms, so the upper body is really working to stabilize. Then you're gathering the belly in, so you're not dumping into the lumbar. The upper leg bone is staying exactly still, and you're bending and straightening through the knee. Take your mind's eye to where that hamstring glute connects the smile line and squeeze it. In four, we keep the knee bent. In three, last two, and hold it here. Start to take tiny little pulses up towards the ceiling. Reaching through that big toe, take a pulse and a squeeze, a little squeeze. Think it might be a small range of motion, but you're staying completely connected. In four, we flex the foot, we pulse in three, in two, in one, stamp your foot on the ceiling and reach that heel up and up. Shoulders away from your ears, keep ridding that, ripping that mat apart. Pull your belly in as you pulse and squeeze. Pulse and squeeze. We're gonna do a little combo of a flex and a point in four, in three, two, and one. Can you flex, then point, then flex, then point. Flex and point, and flex and point. In four, we hold the point. In three, last two, and one. Point your toe, reach your leg out. Start to take tiny circles up and around. Reaching through that pointed toe, just for four, for three, for two, gaze at the end of the mat. Last one, reverse, reach it out, pull your belly in. Mind's eye to the smile line of that butt. For four, for three, last two, one, hold, reach out. For four, belly in, three, two, and bend it in on one. Toes together, knees apart. Sink your hips back towards your heels. The heel of the hand creating traction for the spine. Allow the forehead to fall on the mat and make space through the body. Let's breathe into the sides of the rib cage here. Take a big inhale. And then release your jaw and take a long exhale out your mouth. One more time. Just let it go. You can come all the way down onto your tummy mat. Lying down, we're gonna get a little of extension work here. So from here, I want you to turn your toes out so you're creating like a little X at the back of the body. And then you're gonna reach your arms long like a little X as well. Let your forehead come down onto the mat. 
Take a moment to push the pelvis down into the mat and pull the belly button away as if you're pulling it up and away um, from an ice cube. So the pelvis is heavy, the belly button is lifted. From here, I want you to take an inhale through your nose. Start to think about lengthening through the back of the head by rolling the tip of the nose forward as if it's rolling a marble. And as you lift up, can you float your right arm and your left leg up, extending them away from one another? And on your inhale, float all the way down. So again, there's that length through the back of the neck as you roll the marble with the tip of the nose. It's time you're lifting your left arm and your right leg. And lower it back down. We're trying to make space in the body, so you pull the belly up and you're reaching the hand and the foot away from one another. The heart and the gaze following. Keep your throat closed. So the crown of the head leads the way, the heart shining forward, not the throat. Beautiful, guys. One more time. Reach out, float the leg and the arm up. Find the space in the body, pull the belly in and float it down. Take an inhale here. And can you exhale, float both arms and legs, head and heart into that float position. And on your inhale, slowly drop it down. So you think length through the back of the neck, reach the arms, the legs away from one another, pull the belly in, reach the heart forward, and then slowly float it down two more times. Exhale, reach up, float and hold. And then inhale, take it all the way down. One more time, we hold for the swim. Reach all the way out and hold it here. Start to swim the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four. And as you take those slow rounds of breath, continue to breathe, don't hold it. You're reaching out, fingers and feet away. Keep the heart forward. The gaze is towards the end of the mat. We float in eight, seven. Keep breathing, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, pull your belly in, squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and one. Come all the way down to the mat. Bring your heels of the hands to the shoulders. Push yourself back and take that child's pose. Again, using the heels of the hands and the hips sinking to the heels. Maybe you take that little old fashioned typewriter shift from left to right. Let's reset our bodies now on your next inhale for our second side of our crane, shifting your weight forward. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, spread all 10 fingers and rip the mat apart. Send your left foot out long behind you now, shining your heart, opening through your collarbone. You're gonna bend at the elbows and hinge at the, el in, hinge at the elbows and take your heart down between your hands and then exhale, come back up. You're pointing through that left foot as you take it down, squeezing the elbows together as you bring it back up. So it's an inhale, diving forward and an exhale, coming back up. Inhale, diving forward, lift the left foot, exhale, coming up. Squeezing the triceps into the side of the body. They stay nice and narrow. In four, we take those pulses. In three, belly stays in, use your exhale. Last two. And next time you're forward, can you hold it? Take those tiny little pulses. Up an inch and down an inch. Keep reaching out through your left leg. Just for four, for three, for two, one, hold it. Take a little deeper inhale, and then exhale, straighten the arms all the way up. Come down onto your forearms, but keep your left leg long behind you. Pull the belly in and think about lengthening through the leg, and then inhale, bend, and then exhale, extend. Again, I like you to think about this as being a full body exercise. So the leg, the upper leg bone stays totally still. You're ripping the forearms apart to activate the postural muscles behind the shoulder blades. And then you're really allowing your heart to shine forward and your belly to zip up. No dumping in that lumbar, the toe stays pointed. In eight, we're gonna take some little pulses towards that ceiling, really working the hamstring booty line of that butt. Seven, that smile line, six. Last five, keep it going. Four, belly in, three, two, and one, hold it here. Start to take those tiny little pulses up an inch and down an inch. If you've dropped in your shoulders, stay active. Keep that belly pulling in. Squeeze and release for eight. We flex in seven. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stamp that heel up. Keep the range of motion small, the belly in. Don't sink in those shoulders. In five, we're gonna take a combo. 
in four, three, two, and one. Can you flex one, then point? Flex, then point. Really lift up through the heel of the foot, flex, and point. Four, eight, seven, we hold the point in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point your foot and reach it out. Take those circles, really slow, really juicy, reaching out just for four. We reverse in three, last two, and one. Take the circle up and around, and up and around. Keep those shoulders active, belly in four, three, two, and one. Hold it out there, can you reach it? Lengthen for four, for three, two, and one. Bring it in. Sink those hips to the heels and just take a moment to find space in the spine. We've got a little ab finisher to go, taking those hips from left to right, getting a little bit of movement, mobility, loosen it up for three, two, and one. I'm gonna get you to shift forward and then come and roll all the way onto your back. From here, I'm gonna get you to reach your legs all the way long out in line with the mat. And you're gonna cross your right foot over your left ankle. I'm gonna get you to take your head in your hands, creating a basket at the back of your skull. Keep that tailbone heavy, sinking down through the mat. Take an inhale, you nod the chin to the chest and you curl your head, neck and shoulders up. And then inhale, float back down. As you curl your head, neck and shoulders up, don't ram the chin into the chest. Have a nice little bit of space between your neck and your chest. See if you have a nice plump peach underneath your chin. We're gonna to start to add a tabletop with that right leg. In three, feel the ribs slide down to that stable pelvis. Last two, that belly zips up as you curl. And last time, the ribs slide down, connect with the pelvis and float back down. Let's float that right leg, tabletop comes up and then float it back down. So that knee comes to tabletop, curl and hold, and float it back down. So you can see my pelvis isn't moving. I'm not imprinting my spine in the mat. I'm letting my femur fold over my pelvis and my rib cage roll up towards that stable pelvis. Exhale, curl, connect, and inhale, come back down. Last two, we're gonna hold that knee above the pelvis, hold the curl. Last two. And next time you curl up, can you hold it? Can you reach your left hand past your right thigh and start to take slow little reaches? So you're really trying to get that left shoulder up off the mat and reach past the right thigh. Squeeze and squeeze, really wringing out your abs. We're rotating belly button up. Reach past your thigh for four. We're gonna hold it in three. Last two and one, hold it here for me. Reach a little higher, send your right leg out and then exhale, bend it in. Inhale, reach it out, exhale, fold it in. Keep reaching through your toe, dragging that knee in and out for four, for three. Last two. And last one, bring the knee in, curl up a little higher. Just before you've got this, three, two, and one. Take that leg out, stretch out through your body like a little inchworm, make some space. And then cross your left knee, left leg over your left right ankle. And then take those hands back behind the head. Let's go to the other side. So we take that nice slow curl up through the center and then inhale, float it back down thinking the ribs sliding down to that stable pelvis as you curl up, and then inhale, take it down. Ribs slide down, abs give up, curl and connect. Inhale, down. Exhale, we're gonna to start to float that left knee to tabletop. Nod the chin to the chest and curl, float that left leg to tabletop, and then all the way back down again. We've got two more here before we find that rotation, and float it up and reach it out, last time curl head, neck and shoulders up and pause. Reach your right hand past your left thigh and take those slow pulses, reach and release. Keep getting that right rib over to that left stable pelvis just for four, four, three, two, 
and one pause for me reach your leg out exhale bend it in keep the rotation reaching past the thigh you reach it out soften as you drag it in for three last two and last time bend it in curl up a little higher for three for two reach it out on one take a nice big stretch and then bend the knees in one at a time, taking the arms out to the side. Let's windscreen wiper those knees left to right. Loosening up through the lumbar, taking that gentle twist left to right, just for four, for three. We come to the center, two and one. From here, bend the knees in, and then you're gonna rock yourself up to a seated position. And we're going to finish with some side stretching and a little bit of breath as we began. So sitting up as your taller self, I'm going to get you to sweep your arms up towards the ceiling, take an inhale, and then drop your right hand to your left knee and use your hands to traction your spine and take a lovely spinal twist, just like we found at the beginning of class. Reach your back hand out and then take a nice big side stretch over towards the right, Pouring water out your ear, anchoring yourself with your right hand for three, for two. Sweep that arm back on one, take an inhale, and then all the way up through centre, grow tall, and then drop over towards the right. Left hand on right knee, use those points for traction, and then reach out through the back fingertips, and then take a nice big side stretch, pouring water out your ear, anchoring yourself with your hand for four, for three, two, sweep it back on one. Inhale all the way back up through center and then drop the hands down by the side. Let's take a final sweep up, draw the palms together, gaze at your thumbs. And then slowly glide your hands down past your face. Close your eyes and bow to your fingertips. And let's finish as we began with just those few rounds of slow breath re-energizing, resetting and refreshing your nervous system. Big inhale. Long, loud. Exhale out your mouth. Inhaling, widening the body. And exhale, releasing any tension, just let it go. Bring that awareness once again to what's happening inside. The breath, slowing the heart rate calming and resetting, centering yourself for the rest of your day, your evening. Let's share two more rounds of breath here. Big inhale. Sigh out your exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Sigh out your exhale. Drop your hands to your knees. Give your shoulders a roll. Upside fans, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed your burn with me and I will see you again soon. Bye.